Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. Let's talk today about your palette and your painting and how they reflect each other, how your painting will reflect your palette. A couple years ago, I was teaching in, Mich teaching in a workshop in, painting workshop in Michigan, and it's a really a great place. Uh, it's a campus. And they have multiple workshops going on at one time. So uh, I was staying in a house on the campus. And my roomie for the week was a great painter. Many of you may know him. Kevin Balfus, who's a, um, you know, mostly a, a figurative painter. Um, and we have, <clears throat> in talking, we have a lot of commonalities. Even though he teaches figurative painting and I teach abstract painting, we teach really the same thing which was interesting to me that we teach our approach is almost identical um, but we we paint two very different things <clears throat> but in talking to him uh, one thing he pointed out to me which i never really thought about before which i thought was kind of ingenious he said your painting will always reflect your palette and the more i thought about that the more it really made sense to me and what he's saying is you know that if you do preparation on your palette and it's organized and you know where your colors are and your color mixing is good then that's going to transfer over to your painting however if you have a you know a palette that's not organized and your colors aren't mixed properly uh, you know or it's chaotic palette or you're you know you're using these little paper plates which you know my students know I despise that sort of a thing uh, rather than mixing it all in one place <clears throat> and if you have that sort of chaotic look and feel to what you're doing, it's going to be reflected in your painting. And I really do believe that. And I believe that preparation on your palette is something that's very important. And to learn to mix color and to have it on the palette first so that you know what it's going to look like before you put it on the painting, for me, is just very important. And I know, you know, there's plenty of particularly abstract painters that that don't believe in that and they don't do that they don't pre-mix anything they just you know go about however they go about it and there's if that's your approach you know and you're happy with it and you make good paintings then knock yourself out uh, but for people that are learning to paint I think it's really important to learn how to to put your colors out on a palette and mix the color that you're looking for and to develop a sort of a color harmony and a color combination before you paint so that when you're painting you don't have to think about it because your your pre-planning for the color is already done on your palette and it gives you much much less to think about as you're painting because it's already figured out you don't have to worry about it once you start painting and for me that's the benefit of having uh, a good palette and good preparation on your palette and I think most oil painters particularly if you've taken classic classical oil painting courses you know that's what they teach you you know is, is to start on the palette do the mixing there and then you know don't necessarily do the mixing on the on the canvas itself okay so I hope that was helpful for you and I know you know some people don't believe that's true but I, and that's fine I mean everybody has their own approach to how they do painting but for me and for Kevin it makes sense to uh, prepare your palette properly and then your painting will reflect that preparation. All right, hope it was helpful for you. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.